Welcome to Electron Online. Here we're going to look at an example of Kramer's rule with a 3 by 3 matrix. We have a system of equations. The three variables are x1, x2, and x3. We can also use x, y, and z. It doesn't matter. This is a more general format of three equations and three unknowns. And notice that we've tried to keep it very simple so it's easier to work with the numbers. So we can simply show you the methodology of how to solve a linear system of equations of three variables and three equations using Kramer's rule. Here we have the augmented matrix representing the coefficients of the three variables and then the constants on the right side, the equal sign. Of course, we can use different techniques to solve for that as well, but here we're going to use Kramer's rule. We need to come up with four matrices in the determinant format. In other words, we're going to try to find the determinant first of the coefficients of the three variables, and we'll call that the D determinant. So D is equal to, and we simply grab the coefficients, so we have a 1, negative 1, 1, 1, 1, negative 1, and negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. So we're going to find the determinant of this first, which is equal to, taking the upper left element, 1 times the product of those two, which is 1 times negative 1 minus the product of those two, which is minus 1 times minus 1. We take the negative of the second element times the product of these two, which is minus 1 times minus 1, minus the product of those two, which is 1 times negative 1. And finally, we take the third element up here, minus 1 times the product of these two, which is minus 1 times minus 1, minus the product of those two, which is 1 times 1. So that way you can see how that actually works. And of course, this will be plus 1. Let's see here. No, this should be a plus 1 here. Oh, whoop, whoop. I'm looking at the wrong one. Here we go. Minus 1, minus 1, that's minus 2. Here we get, that's a plus 1. Minus times a minus is plus 1, that's plus 2 times a minus 1 is minus 2. And here we have 1 minus 1, which is 0, or minus 4. That means the determinant of the coefficients of the three variables x1, x2, x3 equals negative 4. Now we need three more matrices, and we're going to find the determinant of those matrices. What we're going to do is, ultimately, taking these three numbers right here, replacing the first column by those three numbers, and then doing this again. Then we're going to replace the second column by these numbers, do it again. Then we're going to replace the third column by these numbers, and do it again, meaning we're going to find the determinant of each of those three matrices. We're going to call them matrix 1, matrix 2, and matrix 3. So matrix 1 is going to be equal to the same numbers here, but the first column replaced by 1, 0, 0. So we get 1, 0, 0. And the other columns stay the same, 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. And here, notice since this is 0 here, all we have to do is just take this one element right here and multiply it times the determinant of these four elements. So it's 1 times the product of these two, which is 1 times negative 1, minus the product of those two, minus 1 times minus 1. And that's the same as what we have over here, which is going to be equal to minus 2. We do the same for the second matrix, but now what we're going to do is replace the second column by those three numbers right there. So we get 1, negative 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, and negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. So we use the simple matrix to make it easier, of course, with these numbers. And that's all we have to do here is take the second element right here and multiplying it times. And of course, we need to take the negative of that, negative 1 times, negative 1 times negative 1, minus the product of those two, which is going to be 1 times a negative 1. That's 1. Minus times a minus is plus, so that's plus 1. That makes us 2 times a minus 1 is minus 2. And the third matrix, M3, Again, we're going to take these three numbers right here and replace the third column by that. The first two columns stay the same. One negative one, oop, getting ahead of myself. Negative one, like that. We have a one, one, negative one. And the third column is going to be replaced by the one, zero, zero. All right, again, we find the determinant of this one. Let's see what we get. And let's see here. We only need to take this number right here, one, times, 
because since we have the two zeros, we only take this one times the determinant of these four elements right here, which is a minus one times the minus one, minus the product of those two, which is one times one. And this is one minus one, which gives us zero. And those are therefore the determinants of the three matrices. In each case, taking the first, the second, and the third column replaced by the three constants here. Now, to find the three variables, we have to do the following. To find x1, we take the determinant of matrix 1, m1, and dividing it by d. In this case, m1 is minus 4, and, oop, where are we? Nope, minus 2. Take that back, minus 2, right here, divided by d, which is minus 4, which is equal to 1 half, which means our first variable, x1, equals 1 half. The second variable, x2, is equal to the determinant of the second matrix divided by d, which is equal to the minus 2 right here, divided by minus 4, which is also equal to 1 half. And finally, x3 is equal to, we take m3 divided by d. m3 in this case is 0, so 0 divided by minus 4 is of course equal to 0. And you can see here that the variables can very easily be solved using Kramer's rule and this technique where we take the determinant of the matrix 1 divided by d for x1, the matrix 2 divided by d to get x2, and the matrix 3 divided by d to get x3. And that's how we use Kramer's rule to solve a 3 by 3 set of equations. That's how it's done.